Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine Perry and today I'm going to share with you how to get organic followers. I have already done a video on this previously in a, a couple months ago, but I wanted to do an update because I feel like I want to do a more detailed video for you. Just get down to the nitty gritty, uh, give you the information that you need to know. Before I gave you some things and I didn't give you everything just because I wanted to kind of see how things were going with my Instagram. So I'm going to give you more details in this video so that you can, you know, grow your business. So stay tuned because this video, I'm going to explain to you how to get organic followers. Now I have over 500 followers. So this video is basically how to get followers from zero to 500 in a decent amount of time. As I said before, my name is Catherine Perry and on this channel you're going to get some tips and advice for social media and helping you just grow your business through social media. I'm going to put a disclaimer here though. This is working for me and I don't know if it will work for you. Depends on your business, how often you post. There's a lot of factors here. So if you are going to be consistent, then you're going to grow your Instagram. So before I get into this video, don't forget to subscribe below and hit the bell button so that you can get notified when my videos come out. And I have a series on Instagram, uh, specifically this month uh, that I'm doing. So hit that bell button so that you can keep up to date. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So you're gonna need your phone, like I said. So we're gonna open up our Instagram and we're going to uh, just see what I've got here going on. So first of all, you're going to be on your timeline. There's the search, there's the, you know, uploading a photo spot, got the heart there. That's notifying you that people are liking your photo. My first tip for you is change the name on top of your post, your bio. So you're going to go to edit profile. You're going to see the name there. So you can change to whatever you want. Social media coach, that's what I am. So that's what I want people to see. So you click, yeah, enter, oh, okay. You click, yeah, awesome. So now that my name is there and my, my title is there, you're gonna go into the search, the magnifying glass, you'll search that and then you will come, people will see you because your title is social media coach. They'll type in social media coach and you could potentially be one of the first ones there. Um, depends on how many followers and stuff you have, I believe, but I think if you are friends with them or if there's a friend of a friend and you're not following them, your name will come up first. So that's kind of a, a neat thing to know. If you are a soap business, just type in the title of your business and then what you do if there's enough space because it's only limited to 30 characters. So this is a neat little trick for you if you want to try and get uh, at the top of that search. So the next thing I'm going to suggest to you is have thoughtful captions. So right here I posted this for my other video that you saw before and it says I am filming a video. That's great, but it's not a very insightful, not very... I don't know, it's just not deep and not thoughtful at all. Computer, stop it. But I, on my next post, had posted something here. So this is me in the small business center in town and I just posted, I've been working on building my business and really connecting with people and da 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 da, you can read from there. So I have really got into, you know, connecting with people, sharing my thoughts and, you know, actually understanding that people are reading this. If they're going to read it, they want to be, um, I don't know, they want to be intrigued. They want to be, have a thoughtful moment. So sit down and actually write out thoughtful, captivating captions. So the next thing I'm going to suggest to you is have pictures that are going to grab people's attention. So I'm going to scroll down here. I got really good brand photos a while back and I've used them over and over again, but I love them because they're just me. I just enjoy them so much. So right here, you'll see me, this is one of my posts and I have put this out, out there. This is, you know, a really nice picture. Now I've posted some pictures of myself and just took a selfie, right? People love that you're just being yourself, you're being in the moment. So having a separate picture like this is really good because people actually can connect with you. And I got a lot of likes on that one. You know, that, there's my reach, you know, profile visits. I got a lot of likes. And that was also down to me actually posting at the right time of the day. So you need to be mindful of your posts. Now, if you are um, a skincare line, you're gonna post pictures of your product. Try and get good pictures, good lighting, not like really grainy pictures, and post at the right time of the day when your viewers are on there. That way your post is gonna reach more people and people are actually going to enjoy your pictures. They're gonna grab your attention. So just try and be mindful. You may not be the best photographer in the world, 
but you need to think about is this going to grab someone's attention just don't snap a picture and think that's going to be great actually look at it and try and take a little bit of time on it so tip number four is do videos videos is going to help you reach a wider audience it's going to push the video it's going to push your page out there more i'm a very big advocate for digital video marketing um, just because that's the way it is right now. Video captures people's attention. People are able, you're able to share it and to reach, reach a wider audience. It's overall a great way to push your content out there. And it's emotion, it's motion, right? If people love to see and watch what's going on. So I'm really big advocate for video marketing. So right now I have a few videos. You may not have any videos up there, that's fine. So right now I have a video there. The insights is gonna show you. So this one was bookmarked and it wasn't much, um, viewership right but it depends on the video so right that was my small my, for my youtube channel and i specifically hash hashtags for that so if you go down to maybe here this one so we had more likes on this one and this was a vlog and people are more connected with that plus it had a great cover photo it had my passport and my phone so people were like intrigued by that you have to think of those things so video is going to help push out your um, page more. It's just a, like I said, it's just a great way to reach a wider audience. Number five is hashtags. Hashtags are super important. You're gonna have small, medium, and large. Small, medium, large, what does that mean? Well, there's hashtags that are out there that are bigger. So for example, success is a huge hashtag. It's got millions and millions of people posting to it um, and tagging that hashtag within their post. So you're going to want to find small hashtags like, for example, women in business or women in biz, you know, things like that. Think about those hashtags. So you're going to need to do a little research here, but this is going to help to push out your, you know, your page more. So I'm going to show you some of the hashtags that I use. So right now here, I'll go into here more. So right, I've already sat down and I've looked at hashtags that I think will fit to my page. So these hashtags are, you know, I, I, all to do with entrepreneur. This post is do entrepreneur. You need to make sure the hashtags are pertaining to that as well. This other post that I have, this is social media pertaining to social media. So I have hashtags pertaining to that. So sit down, think of small, medium, and large hashtags and um, go from there. You're going to reach a wider audience that way. But after you post something, you're going to sit down and interact with people. So right here, I, I will show you one of my posts. Here I have nine comments. Now, you're not going to get comments sometimes that are, you're going to get ghost comments. Basically what that means is bots pushing out a comment and whatever. I've had some funny ones by the way. But you get people that are actually interested in what you're doing and commenting. So, let me scroll down to see if I can find one. This one. Strictly Sense. Hi. So she has commented here and then I've interacted with her pretty, pretty close to when she commented. So I would take 20 minutes to half an hour afterwards and just sit down and comment and just interact with those who are following you. This is gonna show that you care um, because those followers are taking their time, they're interested in what you do, but actually sitting down and commenting back to them, that shows that you care. Number seven is be consistent. This is overall be consistent with everything in life, but be consistent when you're posting, if you're posting at a certain time. Now follow your insights for sure, but if you're gonna be posting, post at a certain time that you think, you know, people will see you every day. So just be mindful of when, for example, your day goes like, so you have your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, and then maybe a snack. So there's times during the day where people are gonna sit down more and actually look at their phone. So be mindful of that, be consistent, and uh, just up, upload good pictures. Number eight, you may not have ever thought of, but connect with people through DMs. So if you have followers, just say, thank you for following me, but instead of just typing it out, do a voice in my mouth. People love this. The first time someone did it to me, I was like, wow, this is so personal. I just feel like they actually care. And they actually took the time to, you know, let me hear their voice. Uh, talk to me like they're actually there or they're on the phone with me, you know, kind of thing. So DM the people, but don't be spammy. Obviously, obviously I'm, I'm warning you here, don't be spammy, but just be like, hey, thanks for um, following me. It was really nice and I can't wait to get to know you. You know, that is see, showing that you actually care and that you're, you know, a person. Another tip that I'm gonna give to you is collaborate with other businesses on Instagram. So maybe you're doing like a giveaway or, you know, you're just having this 
loop post that you do. It's a great way to connect and cross over into other people's communities. Like I've said this a million trillion times, it's a great way to cross over and just really like reach a different audience, a different crowd of people. So my last tip for you is to take 20 to 30 minutes and just really interact with people. Now I've told you this before in one of my previous tips, but I'm gonna share with you another little tip here that people may not know. Click the heart, you're gonna click the heart and then you're going to click following. You see you and following. You're gonna click following and you're gonna see what people are doing, what your followers are doing, what your what who you're following what they're doing and you can go in and interact it's a great way to connect with different people within your communities um that you're following people that you're following and your followers so it's awesome i i don't know if you knew that but this is i love doing this just to see you know what other people are doing so that is it for today guys i hope you like this video it's going to give you more details and actually how to get the followers um i've shared it before like i said in my previous video but I wanted to share more detailed and just get down and actually do a screen grab of my Instagram so that you could see what was going on. And as always guys, don't forget to like and subscribe below, below, below so that you can keep up to date with my videos. And don't forget guys to create adventure and live to inspire. Have a good one.